Welcome to Boating on a Budget with me, the tight Yorkshireman. Today is quite literally going to be a game changer because today we're getting the log burner in and obviously that changes the project dramatically. It'll not change it so much looks wise because yeah there's going to be a fireplace in there but it is only going to be a basic one for now. The main thing it changes is the obvious things. It's going to keep us warm while we're working. We can get a stove top kettle and make the all important brew while we're working. And we can even cook a few little bits on there. You know, warm stuff up, maybe cook a breakfast. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. First thing I need to do is shift these and get what's going to be the temporary hearth in. So, I've got the fire and the paving slab that we're using as the temporary hearth which like I said basically what we're building now is not going to be the, the finished article when we come to finish the boat that's going to be a long way down the line but it just seems daft that we're working in the middle of winter we've got a log burner we might as well get it fitted and at least we can be using it so just to get the, the rough measurements for where we need to drill the hole in the roof I've kind of measured between these two joists got the centre point there and then from the outside worked out how far back it needs to be to make sure we're not hitting the rail or anything like that so I've marked the ceiling with the correct point just got my string line with a little bit of weight on it just holding that up roughly to that point and that shows at the minute we're, we're sort of somewhere about right we probably need to come forward a little bit but the basic thing we want to do is get the hole in the roof where it needs to be get the collar in feed the pipe down and we can line that up accordingly because if you're used to doing DIY around the house you probably say well just get your spirit level measure it etc on a boat a spirit level doesn't work obviously the boat's not level left to right or forward to backwards so we'll get the drill we'll pop this pilot in and we'll go outside and look at this collar and hopefully the rain will hold off while we do it And this is one of the moments where we hope we don't do Adele Boy and Rodney where they were taking them chandeliers down. I hope I've got this hole in the right place. Well, I can see daylight. Let's take the collar up there and have a look. So then, we've got the hole that we drilled up through there. We now need to get the collar, centralise that on the hole, so we can uh, we can see that's in the middle. We'll then have to draw around it. So let's give it a quick, quick dry off, best we can. There, pretty much centralised. As you can see from where we measured it, we were making sure we were staying away from the edge. So that's, that's got the size, but you can possibly tell from there, it does bow out slightly. So this hole does need to be maybe just a quarter of an inch, a little bit more maybe, just so that it does fit in snugly, but it's not actually touching the side there. So I'll just quickly, by hand, make this a bigger hole. So that's basically what we're aiming for. Get the air defenders on. And we have a hole. And that fits in lovely the next stage then mark these up so that's where the bolts are going to go drill the holes through there and then we've got a load of fireproof and heatproof silicon that we're going to put under that pop this in tighten it down Top 
tighten these up and that's the collar all sorted and then slip the flue pipe in and have a look where it lines up and adjust the fire in the earth accordingly and then get them attached when I was buying these bolts I weren't sure how thick the roof was <laughs> clearly I knew it weren't this thick but I thought better get slightly longer than not long enough I think I went a bit overboard though Me lining up were a little bit off, but not too far. Like I said, this just needs shuffling around now until we get into the right place. So the one thing you can't just do is, like I say, is get a spirit level and level it all up. So you just have to kind of look at looking across the back of that pole. Does that line up? sort of square on with the window frame and looking that way again does it line up with the window frame does it line up with the doors and at that it's sort of pretty much about right I think it just needs tweaking a little bit forwards to the fire and then I'll go and have a look outside and make sure the chimney looks alright from the outside Next stage then is to secure the log burner itself down onto this paving slab. That's obviously so that as the boat's moving around, the log burner itself's not moving. So, easiest way of doing that, got a bit of angle iron, I've marked up how wide it needs to be, a couple of marks on there. We'll go outside, cut it with a grinder. We've now got the collar that sits onto the fire and then there's a reducing ring that takes it down to the right diameter for the flue pipe. It does turn out you can actually buy a different collar that is the right size for the flue pipe but I was unaware of that until I'd ordered that. Um, there's various thoughts on which is the best way of doing it but seeing as we've got these this is what we'll go with. So basically we've got the fire cement do is put some of that all the way around this obviously creates the seal between the two pieces of metal I have seen that you can as well as using just the cement you can add some fire rope into this but they do seem actually quite a close fit, so I'm actually wondering whether fire rope would, would actually make the joint looser, if you see what I mean. I guess the thing is, we'll give it a go, and if we're not happy with the seal, we'll do it again. And like I said, this is just a fitting for while we're actually doing the boat out within the next month or two we will be redoing all this because we don't want it just sat on a paving slab in the middle of the floor we're going to build a nice fire surround nice hearth um, but this is just the, the temporary measure so this has got little lugs on that they basically you, you drop it in then swing them round tighten the screws up and that basically clamps it down to that surface below so let's try and get that dropped in just nip it up 
up ever so slightly to start with. And as you can perhaps just about see, it has squeezed a nice bead out there, which obviously means it's got it there. Once I've actually got it all in, I will run just another little bead round the edge and round all the joints, just to make sure it is nicely snugged into place. So now doing the same with this, like I said, this is the reducing ring, so we need to pop some in there, so that'll fit snug, and then again when we come to drop the pipe onto it. And that's pushed down what I've put in, so that's created a nice seal underneath. Again, once I've actually got the pipe in place and I'm happy where it sits, I'll force some more down into that gap into there. But now let's pop the pipe through from the top and have a look how that's sitting. That to me then looks a pretty good fit. Just get a bit of this fire cement around it, and I think we're about there with the actual install. We've got a little bit of fire rope to put around the top that just seals the top of the collar, and then obviously we've got things like getting the door and stuff on, but I think we're getting there. pretty much got it then. So, just go and seal outside the top there, then we'll look at getting the door and things on, and then it's got to sit, well I think it kind of says four hours, but we'll leave it overnight, and we'll uh, try lighting it tomorrow. So this is now 24 hours later, and you can see, Dawn's with me. Lovely and warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's freezing. Snowing outside at the minute, like the art. <laughs> So, it's had 24 hours to kind of dry. It will not be fully set, especially with the weather, but that's why we just light a, a very little fire, just with some kindling, get that going for a little bit. So, we'll have a go at lighting it. We must say we don't really light our fire very often, do we? No, because it's still time, We it? generally just keep it going all the time, which will probably explain a bit more about how we do it as time goes on, won't we? But, so, bear with us, because if this doesn't work brilliantly, Take two. <laughs> we haven't really got a take two with this, haven't we? Not the, <laughs> the way we normally do it, what we do is we rip some paper up so it's nicely shredded. That allows air between it. Sprinkle that in the bottom. I will put plenty in with it being the first time. Say something interesting to the camera while I'm doing this, look. Keep them entertained. <laughs> Tell them a story. Oh, I'm holding a limb still to the chair. <laughs> It is a bit far. It's freezing. One more, bear with us. Bear with him. I'm doing this for a dramatic effect, really. Now, to everyone at home's now on the edge of the seat waiting for a fire, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> no more than you are. <laughs> Nothing yeah. more than me. So that's got it. So there should be enough air coming up. Because the way it works is obviously it draws air in the bottom. Let's the fire feed there and then puts the smoke out the top. So we need to be able to let air come in the bottom. We've got a bit of kindling, which the eagle eye amongst you can recognise. This used to be on the walls and on your waste not one. Oh. Yeah, recycling. We'll build this up nicely. And if this all works really well, I'll say. I, of, I did it. That's it. Because of all the years I spent in the scouts building fires, and if it don't work really well, I'll not mention the fact I were in the scouts all them years. Right. You can do the honours. 
get the clicker right it's somewhere down the bottom there sort of sealed itself as it all set. That's why you only use a little fire to start with, just so it can, uh, can set. Can see the smoke coming out of the chimney. Set. There's definitely smoke coming out of the chimney. It's going in the right direction there, isn't it? It's very smoky in there. But I think we can say, barring just getting that going, we now have a log burn. It works. It works. So hopefully, people have like this vlog and hopefully they're already subscribed to the channel and if they're not what do they need to do press the bell ding the little bell as well as subscribing that'll get you notifications as we do more hopefully we'll not have burnt the place down <laughs> we'll see you next time yes. so, hopefully. see you later folks <laughs> and just to prove it did get burning there we go <laughs> yeah happy days <laughs>